So Bob Geldof and Midgeur have revealed they're planning a major pop concert this summer, but they insist that it shouldn't be called Live Aid 2. The pair, who were of course behind the charity Band Aid and the spin-off live concert 20 years ago, say this year's event will be part of a series of concerts around the world to coincide with the G8 Summit in July. The confirmation came at yesterday's Ivor Novello Awards, where acts such as Duran Duran and Queen, who took part in the original Live Aid, accepted awards for songwriting. Emma Jones was there. The best seller was Do They Know It's Christmas by Bob Geldof and Midge Yeah, yes! 20 years on, there's a sense of deja vu. Bob Geldof and Midge Yure accepting their second songwriting award for Do They Know It's Christmas. But Sir Bob used the occasion to announce that history would be repeated yet again with another giant concert to combat poverty. When the seven leaders of the world's richest nations meet finally in this country, um, there's a sea chance, there's more than a sea chance that the boys and girls with guitars finally get to tilt the world a little bit on its axis. Translated, it looks like there'll be another music spectacular in July, around the time of the G8 summit, but they're still being unbearably secretive about the details. I can say there's never going to be a Live Aid 2, but there's something brewing, um, and you'll just have to wait and see what it is. But as we said, Bob's just disappeared. He's got an incredibly important meeting, probably one of the most important meetings he's uh, ever had, um, and it's big. Among the winners at yesterday's event were performers for the 1985 concert like Queen. Another, Sting, confessed he'd already had his call-up. Well, Bob called me up and said, he, I was. <laughs> he doesn't ask me, he just tells me. No more names were forthcoming, but given how eager performers were to take part in Band Aid 20, Sir Bob's unlikely to be making wheedling phone calls for this concert. The 50th Ivan Avellos have all been about honouring the best of British songwriting over the last half century. People like Lennon McCartney, David Bowie and Sting, to name but a few. As well as a video tribute to those bands and to Sir Mick Jagger, Duran Duran received an outstanding contribution to British Music Award, while younger talent like Snow Patrol were awarded Best Album and Keen were named Songwriters of the Year. For some reason, England is a great breeding ground for, for real talent. I think it's because we have a, a bit of lateral thinking in our heads for some reason, and maybe we're struggling against the climate or the, the general atmosphere of doom that seems to pervade England. You know, there's a lot of sort of jealous bitterness in England, and, and if you can rise out of that, you know, you find yourself having the strength to do something great if you're lucky. But now, for the next five weeks, the industry is unlikely to talk about much else, apart from this duo's latest live event and the chance to make music history once again. Emma Jones, BBC News. I like that idea that the climate makes for creativity, don't you? Mm. you think Darren will like that? Is he listening? <laughs> Darren? No, no, I'm not listening at all. <laughs> I'm just